Hello students, I am myself Neul Kodia from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we discussed about boundary representation and in today's session we have to discuss one more method of solid modeling that is feature based modeling. So in feature based modeling we have to discuss number of uh, operation or number of features one by one. Okay. So in feature based modeling means what feature tools create or modified or manipulate 2D and 3D geometry to create new parts, modify existing ones or generate a construction tool for later use. Clear? So using feature based modeling either you modified any of the 3D object or generate a new 3D object. Now first feature is that it is the extrude. Now what is the meaning of extrude? We have to understand this extrude feature using below animation. So you, you can easily understand that in below animation one rectangle is there and we have to uh, extrude that rectangle and we have to generate uh, 3D parts. So add depth to a select region or planner, face along a straight path, create a new part or surface or modify an existing one by adding or removing materials. So in uh, this is you, based on this animation you can understand that what is the extrude. In extrude we have to just draw any of the surfaces and give extrude value and that surface is, is increase that portion. Okay? So based on this diagram you can easily understand that what is extrude. Now second one that is revolving. Now we already discussed so surface of revolution. Okay, How surface of revolution is work that already we discussed. So in a revolution we have to draw one cross section. So create add to substrate from intersect part by revolving sketch region or planner face about the central axis or surface by revolving line and curve about the central axis. So from below figure you can understand that one central line is there and one curve is there. Now we have to rotate that curve about that central line in 360 degree and we have to we can generate this, this type of closed surface clear this type of a 3D model. So that is the revolving. Next one that is the loft. Loft means if we have a two types of cross section. First one is a circle, second one is a square. Now we have to uh, combine these two surfaces by its uh, periphery. At that time, that type of object is generated in 3D it is considered in a loft. Use of profile sketch and an optional guide how to define shape and smoothly transition between them create parts or surface or modify existing parts of surface. Now this figure, from this figure you can easily understand that law. So in this, in that case we have one is a small circle and we, after that we have a large circle. Now we have to just attach to this circle about its periphery and we have to generate this type of pyramid. Okay, this is the loaf command. Next one that is uh, Fillet. Now you already know if we have to remove material from any of the edges in the round shape at that time uh, we uh, that feature considered as a fillet. Round shape interior or exterior either you can uh, give fillet in outer body or in the inner edge inner edge okay. So inner edge defined as a standard constant radius more stylish conic or variable. So for this figure indicate the fillet. One cube is there and one edge from the one edge of that cube we remove material in the round shape means it is the fillet. Okay. Now then what is the chamfer? If we have to remove material with a straight cut. In fillet we have to remove material in round shape but in chamfer we have to cut material in a straight, uh, straight cut. So uh, from this figure you can understand easily understand that how chamfer is working. So before chamfer the cube is look like this, after the chamfer the cube is look like the second figure. Okay, break <coughs> sharp edge with a bevel defined by the distance to the break from the edges by the angle made with the surfaces. So this is the before and after look of the cube and, uh, using chamfer uh, features. Okay, so this is the simple chamfer. In chamfer you can give chamfer in any of the edges or you can give chamfer at a time to all the edges. Okay, so this is the chamfer. Next one that is draft. 
Draft means we have to give we have to give taper shape of any of the cylinder or any of the body. At that time we have to use this feature. Apply a taper to one or more selected faces or a parting line in order to facilitate pulling part from the mold. Now based on these two figures you can understand that how low for draft is working. So in first figure there is one cylinder is there in middle of a portion. After in second figure we give the draft and this cylinder is converted in the taper form. Okay, so this is the simple the draft feature. Next one that is a rib. Rib means uh, if we have any of the object is there, we have to give uh, any up to the faces. We have to draw any of the portion or any of the body in 2D. After that if we give rib command and that rib command means we have to fill the body and that portion only. You can easily understand that from these two figures. Clear. Create rib in a parts at multiple location based on the sketch. Clear. So in first figure we generated two sketch. One is a half circle. Second one is a two straight line. After that if we give rib at that time that uh, two portion is a uh, extrude up to the surface. Up to the bottom surface and generate one 3D object. Okay. So that is the rib. Now next one. Hall means if, uh, if you want to create a hall in any of the 3D object, create a simple counter sink, counter board. That is uh, all types of hall. Clear? Simple hall, counter board hall, counter sink in a sketch point or circle center using ANSI or ISO standard or custom specification. Either you have to use uh, some specific standard like ANSI or ISO. Or you can uh, give value according to uh, specification, custom specification means according to design. So uh, now you can easily understand that uh, how to generate a hall. Clear? So these two figures indicate that one first one that is a simple hall, and second figure indicate that is the counter board or counter sink type. Clear? You can uh, uh, draw a hall or sketch, uh, uh, or you can drill hall uh, multiple or later time. Clear? So this feature is a, a most important in the overlay. Next one that is linear pattern means if you have want to generate now a linear pattern means you have to draw only one portion after that if you uh, apply the linear pattern at that time that portion is repeated in linear motion. Clear? Replicate selected part means replicate selected part faces or features and arrange them in a row or grid for grid pattern means if you draw one rectangle after that if you give linear pattern and give some distance at that time that rectangle is repeated linearly con continuous okay so that is the linear pattern from this figure you can easily understand that we have one one cube is there one rectangle cube is there after that if we give a linear pattern and we give total number of 6 blocks at that time that block is repeated up to 6 times with same distance it is the replica means the mirror image okay, replica means same object generated in linear form okay, or in a grid form so this is the simple form of linear pattern next one that is a circular pattern means if you draw any of the pattern and you have to Repeated this pattern or gen repeatedly generate this pattern in the circular form. At that time, that part considered in a circular pattern. You can easily understand that circular pattern features using below figure. Replicate selected part faces features about an axis or mill connector. So this is the simple. Now we have one, one circle is there. In one circle, you have to generate one cube is there. After that, uh, generating one cube. If you generate rotate, if you generate in circular pattern all the cube with same size using circular pattern. Clear means you have to draw only one cube. After that, if you apply circular pattern at that time in 360 degree periphery, that part is continuously generated with some specific angle. Okay, so this is the circular pattern. Now, next feature that is cell. Now, what is the meaning of cell? Cell means we have to generate hollow portion. Clear? At that time we have to use this feature. Remove material from a part to produce a cavity. Means we have one solid part. 
we have to generate KVT inside the object. At that time, we have to use cell feature. Okay. So remove material from a part to produce a KVT of constant wall thickness. Means the outer body of the object, at the thickness of outer body is constant for all object. And uh, below, inside the material, we have to remove. Okay, so at that time we have to use cell feature. You can easily understand that how cell is working. Clear? So first figure that is one solid object. After that we select inside the area and we apply the cell feature with some edges. Means outer body edges is 10 mm. At that time all outer body edges is 10 mm and inside the portion is generated one KVT. So that is the cell feature. Okay, so uh, we discussed uh, lots of feature in this uh, modeling, feature based modeling, extrude, subtract, revolving, chamfer, fillet, linear pattern, circular pattern, clear mirror image, cell, draft, hall, hall wizard, counter board, countersink, all are the feature of the uh, modeling software. Okay. So